you know, um, your pastoral year? Yes. Where were you? Here. Actually, right. not here. It was over at the other church, at the St. Martha's in in the Kingwood area. Okay, before no, so here's this. The, I mean, this is what's really cool for me is that I uh, got to spend my seminary and pastoral year at St. Martha's. My first assignment ever as a priest, St. Martha's. My wow. experience as a pastor, St. Martha's. So I've been associated with this parish for a long time. So, so you're really the son of this parish. I, I am. Yeah, and what's funny <laughs> is I didn't grow up here, but a lot of people think I'm from Kingwood because I did my pastoral year. I was a priest here. I was as an associate now I'm pastor. So, so it's really cool to to be associated with this with this parish uh-huh. now for it's 16 years since I first stepped foot here as a seminarian. Wow. Who was the who was the pastor at Father the time? Borsky. And, and that's, I mean, that's why I was back here as a, as a parochial vicar. And I think that's a, a big reason why I'm back here as pastor is because, because he, he was on the personnel board both times when those assignments came up and yeah, such a great advocate, such a great mentor, such an amazing priest. Were you able to request, uh, you know, when... No, it no. doesn't work that way. We don't, as priests, we don't have any say, you but the personnel, give a little board, bit of hint, you the know? personnel board does. <laughs> but that's what happened. I was, I was with Father Borsky for a year as a pastoral year seminarian. I get ordained. Father Borsky was on the past the personnel board. I mean, and, and maybe the conversation was, he's like, hey, you know what? I'd like TJ to come back and be the vicar. Because I mean, it sounds like a dream. And then, and then when he retired, it was kind of the same thing. He was on yeah. personnel board then, and he had a voice to say, wow. I think this would be a great priest to take my place as the next pastor at St. Martha's. That Because each so one, being it here, seems like yes, a dream assignment it for is. you. And it's amazing because I got to spend so much time with Father Borsky. So I got to see his vision for the parish, and I got to see how he, he liked to... St- how things kind of fit together. So I got, I got to see that. And so there was a nice, smooth transition from yes. when he retired to, to when I got here. And I'm just, I'm such a big fan of him as a priest. I mean, he's such a great priest, such a great mentor. Oh, we love Good it when man. he, when, when he's there at St. Faustina. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about your ordination. Do you remember anything about that day itself, that the wedding day? Is I remember there anything? my ordination day. What yeah. sticks with you about that day? The, the day itself so, so I, the way it, I, I'm sure you've talked about to the other priests about this. The way it works is the day before you get ordained, you meet with the cardinal and give you your assignment. Yes. And so he gives you the assignment and he says, like, you can tell whoever you want. Uh huh. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to tell anybody until he asks. So I didn't tell anybody that I was really coming to St. Martha's as my first assignment. Is that what you were really hoping for? Well, I, I I didn't really think it was going to be that much of a possibility. Uh-huh. But yeah, I would have loved to. This is a parish I know. People like Father Borsky is an awesome mentor. Were you, great were you probably thinking, oh, you know, I was there for pastoral year. Probably not going to be there as a parochial vicar. So, but that. what I remember that day is like getting ordained and waiting for, okay, St. Martha's people, like, ask me where I'm going. <laughs> like, somebody ask me where so I'm going. Nobody asked you. There's, there's some people are walking in and I wanted to tell them, hey, guess what I'm going to say? But it was finally one of the, it was one of the youth ministers who comes up to me and he says, hey, do you know where you, where's your assignment? It's like, St. Martha's. And then there was like this buzz throughout the church. And then he told all everybody. And then they were all coming back to find me. And they're like, it's true. Are you coming to St. Martha's? Are you coming to St. Saint- That's hilarious. So Nobody was, asked you until. Yeah, it was what well, many people were coming in. And then so people were texting each other and calling each other. Hey, guess, guess where Father Teacher is going to go for his assignment. <laughs> so it was, yeah, it was really, 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 really cool. And you got reunited with, with Father Borsky. Yes. And all the parishioners that I had gotten to know in my time as. Mm, yes. pastoral year and families that I've seen. So yeah, it's just, it's incredible. What a great blessing. I, I feel so blessed to be able to see so many families and it just from that 16 years being associated with this parish. Yeah. Cause you, you, you can reconnect with them, yeah. see, see how they've progressed after a few years of, you know, not seeing them. Yeah. And N- some of the f- couples, when I was here as the first time as a priest, I did their weddings and then they've had kids. And then I gave first communion to those kids oh, this past year. Oh, that's awesome. So that yeah, it's awesome. just, it's really cool to, to, to be able to walk with, 